Hello everyone, and welcome back to Moments in Shadow with What Team Comp. I'm your host, the Uncommon Guru. Say hi, everybody. Hello. E. Yeah. Right. You gotta get in character. Obviously. Yeah, guys. Sorry, I was trying to, I'm trying to make myself depressed. One second. I mean, you want my depression? It's already there. You can just take it. You can't no. take my depression. It's so I'll take Alex's depression now that she's got banished. One second. <laughs> Taking that depression. She's not depressed if she's banned. She's depressed for a whole other reason. Yeah, she's depressed. She's uh, not depressed. She's um, currently incapacitated. <laughs> but we're she's not focusing on that. She's very angry. <laughs> she can't be angry. She's incapacitated. <laughs> you can't say that when Jackson was banished and was able to call upon his god for that, help. That is not banishment. That was something else. That Oops. was a layer ability. Mm -hmm. That was something else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because I was able to make continual charisma saves. That was something else. But we're focusing here on Elements in Shadow, where last time, lightning struck. And I almost killed, killed the cleric. <laughs> yep. So, uh, after making your way into uh, Mervale more so, or going towards the towers, uh, you guys had decided to do a quick hop over to one of the uh, village, the fishing village, uh, where there was nearby a large lake uh, with several islands with things with which you don't tend to want to go and poke to say the least but as soon as you were arriving it was sundown and people were saying get inside as fast as you can deciding to follow the example as best they could only one person lingered behind to make sure that the mule was put in the barn and safe and secure which was Karg and as he was walking back to the house, lightning struck him. Twice. Struck Melly too, but not Melly, uh, Ellie. Too many E's in there. Three <laughs> Ellie. Mini. You like your E's, don't you? Millie, Mini, Ellie. Yes, that's what I just said. <laughs> that being said, with some help from the sea elf who was there who wasn't blinded by the lightning, they were able to resuscitate him in time to prevent him from having electroshock death. Lonzy. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. That being said, you guys are <laughs> able to have gotten a long rest. Uh, Paris discussed it, and Paris? Mark off a point of exhaustion. Yeah, that's what I found. I'm in the wrong fucking game. Holy shit. Hang on. <laughs> I was wondering why you hadn't shown up yet. Oh, cuz my brain is my she, brain is buzzing right now. You were in a different game where uh the top laner got fed as hell and then just No, I don't even mean game. league. My brain is just buzzing in general right now. Hopefully it stops buzzing. Got to get that bee out of your bonnet. Damn it. <laughs> Load. Please. Also, if there was a bee in my bonnet, I would not be this calm. <laughs> mm, I mean, you're right. I hate bees! Yes, they serve a valuable purpose. Make that purpose be over there, 20 <laughs> yards away. <laughs> don't hate on the bees. I mean, I don't obviously. I hate them. I don't kill them. Yeah, I kill wasps just... with fucking massive amounts of prejudice. But <laughs> They're wasps. People expect it. Come on. No, you want to load for me? Roll 20, please. God. Roll 20. Come in. God, I need some icy hop. My shoulder feels like fucking been ripped out of its socket. Oh, no. Ironically, the shoulder that Ellie busted. Mm, sympathy pain. She can laugh. She has the fucking pain tolerance through the roof. I, however... <laughs> Ellie oh, I don't shoulder. have my Ow. Crack. Pops it back into place. Me. Strained shoulder. <laughs> yeah, man. There it is. Oh. 
I love for this character, I just straight up put the exhaustion thing on it, because I know it's going to happen often. <laughs> there we go. I think I'm good. No, I'm not. I'll have a note. So, there we go. Now I'm good. Alright. So, most of you awaken in the morning. One of you is already awake. Uh, with your sea elf acquaintance waking up uh, as soon as dawn has peeked over the horizon and begun brewing tea. Kind of peeks into the room. Um... Morning. Morning. Mm-hmm. Quite an eventful night. I was hoping for less of an eventful night, but... We're here now, and... The storm's passed. Is Karg out? Karg's awake. I pat him on the back. Just like a good... On the shoulder, like a firm grasp to the shoulder. Firmly like, grasp it. I firmly grasp the shoulder, shake him a little bit, and let go. Card mm -hmm. kind of looks at you, gives you a, a very slow, very lethargic, just like a, ow. <laughs> but he nods. Just like a, thanks. Sorry for ripping your shirt up. Wait, oh. what? Uh, you look over, and in your tired state, you... You, you, you see chest and he kind of looks down and stuff like I have another shirt I'll I'll put that on in a second Ellie Ow. puts her hand to his chest yeah. fat <laughs> she just lays back down on the floor she calls him fat you would he moves over to his pack and pulls out a shirt takes the rips up strands and he he, start, he starts tearing it more he's like these will make for good bandages for later just in case I'm sorry but what happened last night you got electrocuted twice and I had to drag you inside that part I'm aware of but when we were arriving that storm wasn't there that I was aware of. What, what did, was I? T was I tired? Did I look tired when I was arriving into this town, guys? You did he look tired out of out of character, Guru? I mean, he looked like he I'm, was getting a little sleepy, but he's also yeah, the yeah. one who tends to stay up a little bit. You know, making sure the fire's set up, making sure everyone's tense, secure, so that it doesn't <laughs> fall on you. I mean, he, he does a lot, but I mean, he wasn't any more tired than usual. Mm -hmm. No. It would appear this weather is not entirely naturally occurring. Isn't it not supposed to strike twice in the same place? <laughs> it's not supposed to strike at all when there are measures in place to prevent it. Say what? But it appears this weather ignores such measures. And I'll... I, I don't know. How close are we to the window? Like You can move over to it. I'll... But can Karg move over to it? He can move over to it. It's, he's not, like, limping. He's just, like, taking very slow steps, like, uh, oh, uh, mm -hmm. uh. You know how in cartoons, when, like, characters are either really depressed or really lazy, they will squirm their body back and forth so they move forward? <laughs> <laughs> that is what Ellie is doing. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, when we get to the window, I'll, I'll point out towards the stable up at the lightning rods. Oh, you, uh, you notice that. Uh, yeah, we've been, uh, it was the first little, little bit that we found out. The lightning would strike metal, and it would attack the highest places if there wasn't any metal, and it actually got fire to a few places, so we had to, had to find out way around it. Told you it starts fire! Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what lightning does. Car you said says. that I was stupid fitting up to watch and see if it would catch anything on fire. 
Ha! She hits him with the pillow that she had on hand. I... If they didn't have these countermeasures, then no. There shouldn't be any fire. Or risk She hits it. him with it again. <laughs> Mm. I was right. <laughs> Say it. Finch just pulling on a shirt. Say so can, it. Can you tell us what is going on here, please? He's uh, hitting him in the back with the pillow. Is she still, like, lying on the ground? Halfway. <laughs> she, like, lifted enough of herself up to be able to hit him. Uh, the CF is, like, it's watching this. It's not possible, like, by the way. It's not like she sat up, it's like her upper half is raised while her legs are still on the ground. You look like a She's seal. still on her- yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not comfortable looking. And- but the sea elf just kind of like shifts back and forth slightly, kind of looks up at you all. Yes. Honest answer? I don't know. And, uh, rightly, I'm getting frustrated with it. Yeah, when things strike things that you don't able to predict. Yes, that English is on purpose. <laughs> that you don't able to predict. No, it's uh, very bad. I used to be a night fisher. Mm -hmm. Most of my money's made off of night fishing. Oh. So having to go to bed early... Cuts into your money. It cuts into my money. Cuts into me feeling like a you know an upstanding human being. I'm oh, sorry, you human, human fix being. It. I'd like to, but if I don't is know what the me? problem is, oh you? Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm sure you'll find something in here that I'll turn this all around. We'll be safe and free. Like, he like slowly sits down. He looks like he's tired, not as tired as. Ellie, but like he got a very restless sleep. Like, oh gods, why did I do this? I mean, if you have someone else who could potentially figure it out, I'd be more than happy to give them the job because right now, I didn't exactly sleep well. That's pretty much most people here. They're all adventurers. Nah, we're all tired. Oh. Card, can you help me out here, or are you going to let me sit and suffer as penance? You keep tempting me on the back. She Kinda will like put the down. pillow on his face. You can't. You're laying down. <laughs> she will legit get up to do so. He just, like, leans back slightly as he's being shoved. She will let him lean back and just fall on him. Yeah, he, he he's he's not falling over, just leaning back, just like, uh, hmm, hmm. Mm. Yeah, you're not exactly filling me with much confidence in yourselves. So, do you have anything to wake someone up? Nope, I got tea. You can hear the in faint whistling. Is the tea up. hot? Tea's hot. She pours it on her head. In a desperate attempt to wake herself up. That's boy Royal Lacan save! <laughs> I don't that, care if you have a pain tolerance, unless no. you feel no oh, pain. No, no, like no, 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 I'm not saying that her pain tolerance is gonna stop it. She's stupid as hell. I think she wants that. <laughs> I think she wants to feel the pain. Yeah, boiling is kinda. boiling. She can oh, roll a nat twenty. Also, Guru, was it properly I boiling? It, I, I was as I was as she was saying that, like he was like he was saying, yeah, I'm making tea. As he's saying that, you can hear the faint whistling sound of the pot that you heard last night. Yeah, then it doesn't matter how you roll, your skin's gonna get. Fun. Oh yeah, I'm aware. It'll just stop me from fucking screaming. <laughs> My bag won't open fully. Maggie, please. Here we go. John, I have to rely on you for my modifier right now. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's a six. For a con save? Uh, yeah. Be... I believe it's six anyway. Yes. <laughs> it burns like hell. That's a 15. Yep, it burns like hell. And you're taking damage. Actually, wrong, of wrong dice. It's... Cheshire, as soon as you see her get hit, does a 17 hit? He's yeah. Ice cool that. Yes, it does. <laughs> 
He's trying to what? He's, he's trying to break across, across to you. To you. Okay. <laughs> Three, perfect. I didn't want to roll high. I just want to try to stop I'll, your hair from I'll, boiling. I'll say that it halves the damage to her face. <laughs> Which, for that, that's... She actually has a quick draw type thing with his <laughs> his hand just just steps like the oh. side. Like, oh no! His, his his facial looks. You actually see his eyes react. Not his like most of his face. His eyes just widen as you see Caesar do this. Like no, <laughs> you like, moron! Can I have like reactionarily cast? I'm gonna say one reaction from that because like you just watch him go in like what the hell and just just show that. She's spent yeah, enough cool. time with her well, that What were you knows. gonna do? Shape water? Uh, six, Sorry, I didn't realize uh, what... No, no you, you DM rolled it. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I can still read it. Um, range 30 feet. Uh, the one thing that he did would have halved it. I wouldn't be able to say that you can have it again. Cause no, she, that's fine. Trying to I was gonna her face. Water. Her face? It, it's, it's boiling, so I'd well, say that doing that... That would be a intelligence roll to see if you could freeze it fast enough, because you so might you, break the pot. So well, I'm pairs. freezing it as it's coming out. That's still I don't know how she's... incredibly dangerous. Okay, okay. Let's you're, you're basically Bicycle turning it into a dome. A, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You're you're thinking about it as, for a second. You're you're not able to think of it fast enough. Okay, if I can't do that, then I would have moved it. Well, it's still going to burn her. I'm sorry. Right. It's, it's not going to all hit her, but the ray of frost and you moving it does mitigate some of the damage. It would have been six. It's now three. And your head feels you really it's... cold, but then really hot, then really cold, then really... You look... <laughs> you look like the guy from uh, my... Wait, from who? From my you hero, like... when you oh, have no, the no, heat on one side and the ice on the other. <laughs> Th thankfully, with the ice, you're not going to have a scar. Oh, goodness. Not a big that... one. But you're going oh, to have goodness. a bit of a scar between your eye eyelashes. So, uh, I I no, eyebrows, I mean. I Between your eyebrows, down slightly down your nose. Also, since boiling water hit you, you probably look partly like Freddy fucking Krueger. Partly, but again, that's, fr that's in between her eyebrows, a little bit down her nose. That's the part that was hit with it before you got off the ray of frost and before the shape water. Scar. Hmm? I thought Chicken Cure Scarring. Cause like, okay, so I'm gonna say this like now because it's because I'm stupid. <clears throat> Regardless of where it's been, because I've had boiling water on my face, it doesn't always scar. No. no but I'm saying there's a hmm. there's a mark that is red, red skin. I'm not it's saying probably it, not a scar in that case. Yeah. It was just red skin. I apologize. Because it would have had to literally yeah. peel my skin off. Yeah, I apologize. Skin, it's it's just red top, skin. Top, red skin, part of the upper face. You are Todoroki. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, you've... But I don't hate my dad. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward. <laughs> Your point of exhaustion does not go away, but you're slightly more awake. Works. Ow! <laughs> Going to a hot spring, or is that your hot spring for the day? Hot springs smell worse. Yes, but they're a little less painful. Oh, you guys were here for the... Yeah, that's... That'll be open. That that That's fine. But, uh... I have to get more water for tea. Right. Shit, I forgot my underwear. Wait, <laughs> why is you get away. more water? Because you poured it on your face. I poured a cup, not the kettle. Oh, he thought. I thought you said. I thought you said you were pouring no, the kettle. No, I said a cup of tea. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's. The tea the, wasn't ready. No, the tea wasn't ready. It just boiled. So you were pouring she boiling water. Poured out a cup. Yes, you poured out a cup and you splashed it on your face. I didn't take. She poured it on her head, on her face. I think you're fully misunderstanding what's happening here. Regardless, you have burnt. You've given yourself I'm first not degree burns. I'm trying to get myself out of the fucking thing of I've burned myself. Yes. I'm telling you that it's not as much as you think it is, or where you think it is. Yes, e even down your head, 
it hurts. Yeah, no, it hurts like hell. Yeah. You're not going to get a reduction of the... I'm not asking for that. Yeah, but... Okay, I mean, it's regardless. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> flavor text. You keep stop. saying it's regardless and text. you're not going to. You're just like, I'm not asking to. I, I, I know you're not asking to. I'm just like shaking my head just like, oh no. Oh no. Regardless, moving past all that, he, he pours out the rest of the kettle to make tea for everyone. Staring at you very just like... Okay. That just... I need to... Uh, uh, little hot. She's just laid back down. Tongue. <clears throat> Sorry. Put my tongue a little. It's hot. Stares at you like, no shit, but also... I didn't think she about it. She stares back. I didn't think about that because I saw you just burn your tongue like it was nobody's business. How dare. <clears throat> Should I show you? Both same thing and turn it into cold water, like to cold tea, iced tea, then drink it. Just like running, running his finger in circles around it. Oh god, uh, shizzle stick is the word that I'm looking for. That's what you use to like mix drinks. It's a little stick that you stir ingredients and stuff in. Hmm. That's all I can think him doing. But he's using his finger. Yeah. He's using... I was like a mom from Get Out, but with my finger. Oh god, no. Hate to compare my character to a racist, but it's like imagery. It lets yeah. you see you circling it with your finger. I get you. Uh, Sink. It's like, yeah, sorry, go on. Moving forward. <laughs> Ignoring that. <laughs> As you're drinking the tea, one's chilled, two are nice and warm. Uh, well, sorry, three are. Karg doesn't touch his immediately. He just kind of stares at it, just like. Huh. Uh, meanwhile, the sea elf just kind of nods slowly. If you're looking to talk to someone, there's a... Uh, the elder's hut, he actually is the one who runs the hot springs. I mean, good you know, good for you. That gives you something to do. If you don't you know, get any information out of him, if you leave, just... Appreciate you coming by. So you're spending money in hospitality and whatnot. If you're actually planning to do something here, good I luck. I thought they were the hot spring. Hmm? Why is it good luck to go to the hot spring? Because it warms you and makes you feel better. And I don't know if the elder will actually give you information. Why I'm wouldn't saying. he? mostly out of worry that you trying to do something will cause something or someone to be angry at us and therefore possibly attempt to kill us. They're already angry at you if they're letting this happen? Yeah, but no one's... You know, kind of looks over at Karg. Not many people have gotten hurt because we figured out how to get around it. If Didn't this you is... say that someone died before to this? Yes, they did. Before we fix this issue. I'm well aware of that. And I'm... I shouldn't have said that. It was just late at night. I didn't think. Look, just... I understand that you're trying to help. I really do. I just don't know if will need it. This is up to you if you want us to help or not. That's just not my decision. It's the elder's decision. If you were asking just me, I'd be like, yeah, please, go ahead. If something bad happens, I'll just stay in my house. Nightfall, I'm in my house, waiting for the lightning to go away. Well, if the townspeople want to fix it, shouldn't the elder be doing what the townspeople wish? It's the elder's job I to lead and to. to keep them safe. I want to. Most of the other people have gotten into a system that they can live by and are fine with things as they are. With lightning potentially striking anyone who wants to go out after a certain time. Yes. What if it's a kid that goes out? 
you're not persuading him about anything. He agrees with you. This argument is kind of just wasting time where we could be talking to the elder. Trying to argue with him. I just think it's a stupid point for these people. Then you're not the person. You think he's not the person you need to talk to if he agrees with you. Yeah. <sighs> and kids are stupid. They can be smart as hell, but they can be stupid. <sighs> Come to think of it. Eh, never mind. What? Ah, nothing. Just. Some of the kids are just acting a little more funny. That's all. Just l being smart, you know. Being smart asses sometimes, but. Maybe I'm too tired to understand what you're saying right now. <sighs> it's just one of them's just been skipping rocks by the pond a lot more often and when she goes down to the lake she told her not to but sometimes she just goes and just stands at the foot of the lake and just kind of just throws rocks into it she's on board every day maybe it's a habit right before sundown oh <sighs> Yeah. At that time of day, it gets dangerous. So. Yeah. Not sure why, but she gets back before the lightning strikes, so I guess she's still safe. Maybe to rebel? Maybe. She's still young, but. We gotta go with the elder to deal with this shit. If you can, I'd appreciate it. If you can't, I understand. Just. This is... This is some weird shit, man. Well, I will stand up. I mean, I'm not gonna get any sleep, so we might as well go now. Try not to get yourself hurt, alright? You seem like... Yeah. I make no promises. Try. That's all I ask. <laughs> uh, I'll try. Don't hook your thumb if you can bait something. Uh, kind of like rubs she his head like I can... like a dog at that analogy. It's fisherman lingo. Just if you can. Do something that's not going to hurt yourself. Do that. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Gives you a thumbs up like, yeah, good. Car just like slowly nods like, yeah, I got that. I got that first try. Yeah. <laughs> I understood that reference. <laughs> <laughs> I understood that reference. I'm sorry. That's all I can say. <laughs> nature, cl nature jokes. Ah, ha, ha. I get it. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, now, where are we going next? We're going to the springs. We're going to try to speak to an elder. What are we doing? Uh, it's up to y'all if you want to go to the springs first or if you want to get this done first no, as well. No, no. Y'all two are the ones that wanted to come here in the first place. Seen points to uh, her and Ellie. Or her and Well, okay. based upon the fact that the elder apparently runs the hot springs, we would be killing two birds with one stone. Ellie points to Alasha. Mm -hmm. Alright, follow your lead. After you, ladies. Card just says, uh, by the way, at the moment, uh, when he, everything got, you know, packed up to for you guys to go, he did not put on his armor. I'll bet he didn't. Yeah, he right. Just, like, Put it into his bag after. Is the armor thought, okay? Or is it melted? Parts because, of it fused together. Yeah. Oh. Metal, even like when it's struck by lighting, that shit melts. Yeah. yeah. It didn't melt to him. Thank, thank God. God. Thank much. God. 
with two lightning strikes? That's yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right. I said, much. Mm. Like when I said you had to cut his shirt open, there was some skin that was peeled off. Oh, that was from a burn on his gross. side. Yeah, it wasn't mm. like it wasn't like a lot. It was like you know more painful to watch. And he, when he woke up before he took his finished his long rest, he cast cure wounds on it. But he's gonna have a scar. Mm. Like running from I mean, his hip nice. up. Just yeah, he he Ugh. looked he looked rough and his armor honestly looked he's rougher. probably going to need to get new armor. Mm. Can't I make armor? It'll take forever, but it'll can take, I make it'll, it? It'll take forever, but you know, you could technically make a new set. <laughs> it'll just, you know, take time. And you're working on Alasha's thing as well. So depending yeah, on Yeah, but on, thankfully she only uses short sword, so I already have a sword. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you just have to restore it. Clean it, yeah. Yeah. Simple enough. Uh, that being said, you guys can move in. Yeah, he's again. It's not like a, a hobble or anything, but you know, he's just like every now and then you see him kind of like just wince and move his hand near where he got you know the searing on his body. Yeah. But he, he's not. He's not so bad off that he can't you know move. It didn't lower his speed or anything like that. Right. He's just in pain. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we expect. <laughs> mm. He, for getting struck twice, he got off lucky. Does it look tender? Yeah. Mike is loving. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Ellie is an awful person. Is she gonna do what I think she's gonna do? She's gonna touch it. <laughs> oh, I was like, don't fucking like, start the guru. She's not gonna oh. smack it, no. Guru. Yeah. Uh, what Cheshire did when he was like looking over him, and I'm guessing, from other people, I'm guessing he's the one that peeled the armor off him. More than likely. Yeah. Like, yeah. He took his hand. He fucking took one hand and spammed uh, Ray of Frost on it. Mm-hmm. So he took damage himself last night, like a lot. Yeah. And he just started rubbing Car, just like that part of him down with his leg, just chilling it. Yeah. Just. It's more than fair. Cheshire cares. Good boy. Cheshire knows about how to prevent the human body from dying in certain ways and how to also make the body slow him down. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's not slow today because it's had time to wear off, but. It's it helped. It helps with what you did. Uh, eventually, mm. you guys. I'm guessing. Are you wandering around? Are you asking directions? Or are you just going to the big place that looks like it's the you know center of town? Eh, I'm asking I'll directions. Yeah. All right. They point you towards the center of town. There's a, a large building that's slightly bigger than the rest of the other ch- village uh, huts, but you can see that there's a faint steam coming out of part of it. I think that's the building. Yep, you just want to go right down there. Uh, head right inside. Uh, his daughter should be there as the receptionist to be able to get you rooms, and you should be able to enjoy the hot spring. I'm surprised you were able to make it here this early. Most people aren't able to get here by foot that fast. <laughs> Does it seem odd to be out of this quick? On foot? Yeah, would this not just be like a normal walk to us at this point? No, no, from... Th- in their mind, they didn't know that you stayed in the city. Oh. They think that you came so, from outside the city. Someone was hospitable enough to let us in. Oh, good on them. Glad you made it here before the storm hit. That would have been quite a bit of a, a fuss. Uh... Uh, just just know that there's curfew uh, right before sundown. Just get back to wherever it is you're res- residing. Or if you want to go to the tavern, they have... You know, she gestures to Karg's fucking side. It's covered by a shirt. He didn't. Someone was just lucky enough to let us drag... Her eyes, her eyes are, like, twitching from you to Karg's, like, what, what, what? Oh... 
ها ا I'm scared an old lady. Good, good <laughs> job for surviving. I have to, I have to finish my preparations. But I have to, I have to thank you very much. <laughs> You're very welcome. Um, ha have a nice day. She turns and walks away. She Did I scare an old lady? I think she was more scared of the fact that I survived a bolt of lightning. Two bolts of lightning. Was it two? I only felt the one. No, it was two. It was two. That'll be something to tell Believe me, I know. I shared the second with you. He like slowly turns and looks at you and just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I went out because you passed out and when I tried to grab you, I got struck. Oh, well, speaking of, uh, your armor isn't as bad off. <laughs> I didn't have my armor on. Oh, you didn't have your armor on. No, I had no armor, I had no weapons. Oh yeah, she shucked everything. Yeah. <laughs> you should bar arm. What? It Medium armor takes a minute armor? to shuck, doesn't it? I didn't have it on in the first oh, place. Oh yeah, she doesn't have it on unless she prepares it. She had been traveling, quote unquote, casually. That just wanted to make sure that loose end was wrapped up. So yeah, no, she doesn't have it on. She didn't have it on in the first place. Yeah, she doesn't have it on unless she puts it on, expecting some sort of confrontation. It only takes thirty seconds mm, to put on armor with help. Yeah, medium armor uh, with help. Let me double check that real quick. I I want to believe it, but I also need to check it so that I make sure that well, I'm not. While you to check, I gotta be right back real quick. So <laughs> no worries. Good timing. Uh. Medium armor. Uh, if you have help, remove it. Okay, if you. Uh, this takes time. If you benefit the issue, take the full time to don it. Off it. If you have help, remove it. Just type it. So donning the armor takes five minutes and says nothing about help. Doffing the armor is what takes a minute, half if you have help. I will let her know when she gets back. Hmm. And it says you only get the benefits of it if you don the armor. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when she gets back. Excuse me. I am tired. I am too. <laughs> We're all sneepy. <laughs> we will survive. Fuck, I have another test tomorrow, goddammit. End of the year testing, so fun. Mm. Wow, we. Hopefully, it all goes well for you. Yeah. Uh, which actually, I think we can just go ahead and move forward a, a little bit, just because we're just still going to need Paris, obviously. Mm. Um, I can actually, uh, I, I don't want to describe it because if she's not here, uh, you guys can describe it for her, right? 
as I describe it? Describe what? The building. Okay. The building is when you actually are approaching it and actually seeing it. It's near the most central part of the village, which means that it's got a, a big plaza area in the center that helps it stand out, essentially. Uh, the building itself appears to be made of some kind of brickwork uh, with a, a soft-looking roof made of, like, a, some kind of bundled, maybe, hay or woven wrap. It's made of a material you're not intimately familiar with. Uh, there is a faint steam that is rising out of certain areas on the sides, uh, which indicates that there is some sort of heat being generated here. Looking around this place, you don't see a place that would have like a vent or something to indicate where the heat was coming from specifically. Um, and just looking at it as it is, I mean, if they have a like a furnace or something to do it, it would be underground. Hmm. Uh, but the, by the size of it, it is by far the biggest city here. Not the biggest city, the biggest building here. It's at least a good... <laughs> trying to think of I, ha I had the number in acres before but I forgot it um, yep. it has enough size to it that if it were like on the outskirts of it it would be sizable enough for maybe a small noble to live there very hmm. mi very very minor but A marketplace or something like that could make sense for something like this. The fact that this is supposedly the elder's residence and the place of the hot springs is a bit surprising, a bit mm -hmm. odd, but apparently it's supposed to be nice, very, very nice, very worth it. And approaching this place, do you guys just walk in? Do you knock at the door? Does it look like it's open for business? There's no sign on it. Hmm. I'll yeah. knock on the door. Okay. Uh, you knock at the door, and there's a moment of silence. Then... <laughs> As you see, uh, a long-haired uh, humanoid woman uh, appears to be... Uh, slightly tealish skin uh, with very, very faintly almost like horizontal bar eyes. I opens the door with a start just like, oh, oh goodness, I I did not put out the sign. I am so sorry. Just, just, just come inside. Come inside, please, by all means. I, I need to grab the sign. Uh, you hear her just run off to the side. You hear her fumbling through some stuff before she pulls out the sign. Open is like, ah, yes. Uh, you just hang that here. Just Come inside, come inside. Motions you inside, she pushes the door open, hangs a open sign on it. Welcome to the hot springs. Uh, how may we be of assistance? Well, we initially came here to sample what your establishment had to offer. But after the interesting welcome we received last night due to the inclement weather... <gasps> oh, you came during the storm? Oh, goodness. The, we, I've, been, I've been trying to tell him we need to get a sign or something to let people know that they need there's, that there's a curfew and that they can't come in after... Oh, goodness. Are you all okay? Card just kind of holds up a hand. No. <laughs> She like wide eyed, just like. Mm. I imagine Ellie does as well. Ellie just like slowly. I imagine her just like pointing at Karg, just like. He got struck by lightning twice. Her eyes just wide, just. Thankfully, he's 
hopefully you're alive and I'm are you alright? Car just like stares at her and like they, that, their eyes just stay locked for a second and she's like mm. understandable so you weren't wanting to sample the hot springs we also like to. No, we still do. Oh, you still do. Look at that. Okay. A lesser of the reason we arrived. We would also like to speak to the elder. We understand he resides near or about here. He he, he, he does. Um. H have a seat, please. I. I'll be right back. She motions to um some. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. What I miss? We're uh, inside the hot springs. It's yes. really big, like the size of a small noble's house. Oh um, Jesus! The lady who's running it looks like interesting. Teal skin, straight black hair. Did you say, Guru? Yes. Uh, and it has like a sheen to it, like it's um. Did okay. anyone ask what she was? No, not yet. Vanelli is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me, Miss. Uh, I, 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 uh, 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 yes. What are you? I know you're a humanoid, but I mean, what race are you? No one else was asking. Um. I, I, I. I am a tribe. I don't. Oh. What's it trying? Aquatic uh, humanoid. I... Like you can breathe underwater? Yes. That's so cool! Thank you. Oh, I know I... what Triton is. Uh, <laughs> or have I heard of Triton? You've heard of Tritons? They're more towards the ocean border. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you've heard of them. I had to ask. I'm sorry. It's just you're fine. I've never seen anyone who's blue, and you're very pretty. But I wanted to know what you were. <laughs> Not a problem at all. Uh, please excuse me. They. I need to go get, grab the elder real quick. Okay. She kind of just quickly st 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 uh, runs towards the back. Uh, as you all sit down, Karg like just like leans forward, just kind of slightly. She's lying. Hmm. Huh? She's not a triton. Well, what is I know what a triton looks like and whether or not he's correct? Roll a nature check. How do you know she's lying? She was stuttering. Her eyes were going in every direction. And what? I've seen nope. a triton before. I sure haven't. She's Have not. I? I'm curious. Uh, For maybe. Unlikely, but you can roll a nature check. YOLO! Not bad for a negative one, but probably not seen one. <laughs> not seen one? Uh, as he sa he's giving this, uh, he actually explains one of some of the other stuff. Her hair was fine, but usually it's more corally red color, stuff like that. Dark color's not uncommon, but when she turned, I saw her ear. It's like mine. Taps it, kind of like at the, like grabs the top part of it where there's like you know the curl of a human humanoid ear. Tritons tend to have uh, more protrusions of ears than actual ears. Some do have them, but no web fingers. Why would she lie about that? I um, would say she's probably something else, something. She does not wish to discuss with strangers. Bad for business, perhaps. Maybe a genasi? That's what I was thinking. Based upon what we have been finding at the job postings, this would not surprise me. There are people out there who'd be... less than kind. 
Excuse me, by the way. Keep pouting. It's not for us to decide what people think or feel. We can absolutely judge them as being absolute pains in the ass, but we can't decide that for them. Mm. She just leans on him. People are mean. Not wrong there. I don't like the people out here. They're, They're really people. judgy. You're saying our people aren't? I mean, you're a racist, so... Hey. Fair enough. You are! Don't think I didn't watch you glare at that dwarf! Dwarves are assholes. Simple you're as that. You're an asshole for saying that! Argue this again. Yes! <clears throat> Stick glares at you as you hear steps coming forward, and you see a a human uh, coming forward. Looks to be older, uh, got a, a bit of a, a well trimmed beard that comes down to a point that's been braided, uh, not meticulously, looks like it was just like thrown together with a twist. Probably just woke up recently. Uh, long hairs uh, sticking up in a few places but it's pushed back well enough that it's passable uh, but he he's wiping the sleep from his eye he's gotten up early and he's just kind of smiling at you all I wasn't expecting visitors so soon uh, you must have stayed the night uh, welcome welcome to my fine establishment I was told you needed to speak with me you're already seated. I don't need to tell you that, but if you wish, I can seat myself with you. Unless you wish to go speak at the hot springs. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> He's yes. an older gentleman. Let's speak at the hot springs. Please, uh, there. we will go to the communal path. Uh, allow for us all to gather together. Ellie Please. hardcore squinting deep motions towards the back as the lady kind of like walks in after you oh uh, for, for, right right this this way I, I i'll lead you there no worries and she walks at oh, the okay. front of you as you all walk past and he walks to the back ellie leans down to alash and just kind of whispers i know old man asked for us to talk about serious business while we're all naked Proprietor of the hot springs, which is probably not terribly unusual for him. Uh, as you all lean back up the trucks. <laughs> as you all all head in, uh, he motions towards um, uh, these wicker baskets that are hanging from the ceiling of. Uh, it's kind of like a an odd texture for your feet, but. Uh, it's uh, a gray concrete, basically. It's it's it is concrete, but uh, concrete is not very commonly used, so it's very weird to suddenly step on something as hard as stone, but completely flat. That just looks super uniform. It is a little, little weird, but I wonder if this is breakable. I'd prefer it if you didn't attempt such a thing, although the fine for it would be quite high. I don't Just have my weapons, so I can't anyway. A good a good thing, then. Uh, if you put all your clothing into the baskets, they will be uh, closed on the top to show that they are yours and that they are filled with your items. Uh, don't worry, no one will come by to take them. We have a good security system to ensure that they will not be attempted to be harmed. That and well, there's no one else here besides us. Please, by all means. Okay. Uh, he says this uh, the communal area. He just kind of goes towards one of them, just takes off his own stuff, puts it into a basket, and walks into the bath. Karg just kind of looks at yeah. just like. Hot spring it is. Just takes off his shirt, just like, oh, arms my veins is going to be. Uh, oh. I'll help him. I'm. I'm. I'm fine. 
chill exist on this one. For uh, once, just accept my help without making a fuss. I feel like I should make more of a fuss for that, but I'll accept it. Why? Because I'm undressing you? Yeah. Why? Because we're here for business. And? As much as this reminds me of business back home, I didn't realize that other people use this custom. Yeah, I know, that's weird. <sighs> I mean, not the weirdest thing. Yeah. There, there are weirder traditions. Very true. Yeah, like shaking hands. That's really weird. Is it the weirdest thing? I didn't say it was the weirdest, but it's weird. Remember when mom had to learn how to headbutt properly so that she could greet the other people? I can't oh, remember which one that was. Uh, it was the glass. It, it was. Uh, they. They were weird, but friendly enough. They were fun. You you fought half of them. Yes, I did. And you would have fought the other half if you hadn't been knocked down your ass. In my defense, it was three versus one. Only because you kept insisting that that was the only way to have a fair fight. And they that play was the only by. Way there was a fair fight! There was more than a fair fight with one on one! Every time I played one on one, they got their asses beat! Yes, but you were also significantly injured. It took three of them to take me down, didn't it? Uh, I'm not having this argument with you again, and I, I'm, you already are. I'm, I'm guessing you're undressing are him. Here. Yes. Thing besides <laughs> this. Yes. <laughs> this is just how I vent before going into actual business, because otherwise I will be wound up tighter than a rattlesnake coil. I pat him on the shoulder and say, "Good for you. This is designed to calm people down." <clears throat> we'll find out. Uh, he walks out, and as you're all walking out, uh, the lady has just an armful of towels. She's like, yeah, you should all take one and just have it just hung up on the line, so that when you get out, you can dry yourself off. Just we all naked, though, right, man? You all naked. Yeah. You all naked. Naked as day we are born! Yep, you're getting your bathhouse day. This is the bathhouse episode. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, you all wade in to the water? I jump in. The fuck you mean, Wade? <laughs> it's not super deep. Damn it. <laughs> Break your ankles. Go so on. You, you're trying to dive in. <laughs> Break your ankles. Go on. Or do you just jump? Like jump in feet first? I'm gonna see if I find the deep end before I jump. <laughs> How are you jumping? Is my question. <laughs> if she can go around and try and find a deep end, then she'll jump in there. How are you diving? Are you diving jump. head first? Just straight or... jump. So you're just jumping, ball your feet first? Yes. Okay. You find a place that will go up to... I find just, a place that will... Just go about above your eyes. Yee! Not further than that, but it's deep in that end. They see bubbles... Karg, she just... Yeah, Karg moves over more towards the shallower end where there's like areas where you can actually sit down and you know just enjoy the warmth. Which the warmth, by the way, quite nice. It's it can I like dive a, under? You can drop your head under and dive and play around. Yes. She's going to try and sneak. It's pretty. <laughs> it's it's not like it's super clear water. Clear. Isn't it? it is it is clear. Yes, it's like it got a bit of you know the ripples and the heat steam of the room but it's fairly clear water you trying to sneak up is like we can see you we can all see you <laughs> You're right there but the the elder sits down and just crosses his legs and leans back just like uh, <sighs> so how can I be of assistance As you correctly guessed, we arrived at your fair town later last night, right as the curfew was going up. Mm, 
Were you able to make it to an inn safely, at least? Yes, but we had to tend to our meeple. Struck by lightning? I was not. I gesture over to Karg and Ellie. Oh, that's a fresh... He... Ah. Twice. She once attempting to retrieve him. And he like, stares at the scar just like, ah. Time heals many wounds, but... Car just kind of like shrugs it off, just like, it will make for a good scar. One that my people would find proud. Confusing, <laughs> but proud. Yes, I... Fair enough. And so you came to me to discuss the weather? Yes, this weather. Hmm. How long has it been occurring? Would too long be too blasé of an answer? I would say it accurately describes the situation. You're not wrong. Kind of like, he's still like lean back, relaxed, but you see his face kind of like just seem to lose the bit of smile and just kind of go like, ugh, I have to go business, but yeah. As he just exhales slowly, just... And what is it that you believe you wish to do? We would like to attempt to ascertain the reason this strange weather has suddenly plagued your village. <laughs> Forgive me. I... I have not spoken with people who freely ask of these sort of things there is there is always a price and there with, can be and with something like this our hot springs are open we have revenue as we always have but There is a, a lacking. We, we are not a rich people. We have enough to do things such as this. He motions to the place around you. Enough to do more than we should. We would be able to, by our means. We have been fortunate and blessed. I I could not promise anything for you. Making sure between yourself and I that you are aware of this before we continue. I feel that I speak accurately for the group of us when I say that when you speak of price, you should not initially think of how you would compensate us, but you should think of the price for your own people. Who is to say that by some stroke of bad luck, one of your own winds up outside after dark and suffers the same fate as my companion. There's they apparently have... a kid that just sits around right before Fuck. sundown. Fuck that. What happens if it takes down a building with one bolt? Uh, when, like, obviously you're all saying these things and, uh, you hear a small, like, just like, uh, from the lady behind you. She's not in the water. She's kind of, like, shifting awkwardly and the man, just, like, makes a calming gesture, just like, oh, it's alright, it's alright. We have had that happen before. And my 
my granddaughter has been kept safe as much as we can. We cannot stop her from throwing rocks in the rip in the lake before sundown, but we can get her back before the sun sets. Did she start doing that around the same time the lightning started? A little bit after. I would imagine it's because she used to skip stones before when the stars were out and you could see them in the lake. She liked to watch the ripples. Now she yeah. goes there and doesn't even skip them. Just throws them straight into the water. What if she's upsetting something in it? She wasn't upsetting anything before when she used to go out and skip. She just didn't go as frequently. Now she goes out there and... Nothing has moved, nothing has acted. It's just the lightning. And as for the bolt of lightning, as you mentioned, we've done our best to research ways to protect ourselves. We've actually developed a, what we hope to be a rather ingenious system of protecting ourselves. These lightning lures, if you will, are handy and very, very helpful, especially since if that were to happen, this building being the tallest and the one struck the most often during the evening. If it were the first to go down, then I would be proud that my place has been here to protect others. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you speak of the rods you've attacked to the peaks of your buildings, they did not prevent my companion from being struck twice last night, despite I'm standing directly next to I'm aware. I do not say this to undermine what you've done. You evidently are doing the best you can, and I commend you on that. But we would like to see if we can help do more. And again, you may. I will not stop you from doing more. I just want it understood between us that if you do more, we will not be able to compensate you for what you do. Not without a lot of time to catch up. Sometimes, doing a good deed is its own compensation. <laughs> If we had more travelers like you, we might be able to actually have this over and done with sooner. But I suppose that will be seen based on what happens, right? Quite. What do you need to know? Tell us everything that you can. When it started, how it was before, how it was after, and any differences, whether in people, places, buildings. Within the last few months. Didn't start every night, but it began to build up until it was every night didn't start striking people at first until if you were outside you could almost certainly find yourself either being close okay. to being struck or being struck oh. any question? Doris? Mm, nothing she's just sitting listening at this point <laughs> okay just making sure she made, you made it sound like you were having a question and I was just double checking with you. Mm, I just made a noise. Okay, didn't noise. Hmm. 
we have been having more fish, actually, come to think of it. More other nasty life as well. There's actually uh, several gators that popped up. I'm sorry, did you just say the word gator? Yes, uh, alligators. Uh, they're generally not harmful or dangerous as they're essentially uh, hard-scaled, very squat, low-to-the-ground creatures. they more aquatic than they are. Do I know what an alligator is? Only well, nature check. You it's all can if you wish. Right? Oh, yeah. Well. Oh, dear. Let me use my home guys. Okay. Fucking. <laughs> That's a ten. <laughs> You've heard of them. They always sounded like they were like really cool. Like they're always wearing armor. That's so cool. <laughs> you mean oh, a no. even know the difference between a gator, an alligator, and a crocodile? You don't know the difference between them? Wait, I'm sorry, what did they roll? I thought you said 16. Yeah, they both rolled 16s. You don't know the differences between a gator and a crocodile? Um, but at the very least, you've... Alasha, you've seen one. Mm -hmm. And Butters, you had one actually drawn for you at one point. Uh, a person from your village who... They, they didn't draw a gator, they drew a crocodile. But mm -hmm. the description is close enough to it that you're like, ah, this was seen once. Are those, okay. aren't those pretty big? You're, you're like, you're like, press F, press X to doubt on the press size F of them. Freak. Press X to doubt on the, uh, how big they are, essentially. Wrestle partner! <laughs> They... What? What? I like to fight things. If it helps you out, I suppose that's fine. What I was... What my tribe does. <sighs> what I was about to say is that they were more numerous fish too which I, mean, I suppose that helped prevent any losses from there being more of the gators but at first you know, they, were, they were gators they were fine but one fisherman late at night he got back safe but his boat didn't. I'm not sure if Wait, I so believe the story, but he said that the way that it moved towards him was bigger than his boat. The gator? Yes. His, oh. his boat's a, it's a large boat. You know, a little more length than it is width, but he could barely see it because from where he was at the time, apparently there was only so much of the creature he could see before. I'm just saying, anyone who knows her can see the stars in her eyes. Karg is trying to cover them. <laughs> I just imagine, don't do that, that's offensive. Why? <laughs> mm. Go on. And there were the lights. That was another thing. Uh, some of the... Uh, if you look around town, uh, before we had curfew, we had... Uh, we had uh, lanterns that we would light. Uh, they'd go on specific corners to help guide people in the night to help make sure they could get to specific areas should they need to. We didn't light them all the time, uh, but 
we would light them on occasion, maybe once a week. Uh, just so we had, wouldn't have to buy more oil to fill them back up. But a few times that we lit them, they turned a uh, green or violet. It was very strange, and I can't confirm that it'll do that now, but. It was something that I noticed, and you're asking me what I noticed beforehand. Uh, and of course, my my granddaughter and some of the other kids are getting they're getting restless. They I wouldn't say they were the most well-behaved kids, but they were good kids. Now they more likely to throw tantrums. They've fought more. No kid likes being cooped up any more than any adult likes being cooped up. Adults know the danger, though. Kids don't. Y'all didn't have curfews when y'all were kids? We'd have curfews, yes, but we could have it for a little bit after sundown. We know everyone here. This place is a community. We're safe together. If you one Close needed to, to essentially, mm. if one needed to stay out a little bit longer, one could know that either their food would get cold or they'd arrive on time. And if they were out somewhere, they were likely with a friend somewhere else, perhaps. And having enough food for perhaps one extra was never too far out of the question. We were able to. provide for one another. So that it didn't seem as big of an issue at the time. This needs to be dealt with. Say again? I said this, she said this needs to be dealt with. I'm Very aware. quickly. Yeah... Uh, also, Paris, have you been rolling your rolls with disadvantage? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot entirely. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I was thinking about it. I'm like, wait a minute, you have a point of exhaustion. <laughs> what? It's only for skill checks, whatnot, so it's not like attack rolls or skill Hey, I say stuff. it's useful. You're not an exhaustion barbarian or a frenzy barbarian, so it's not as useful for you. But turn on the exhaustion level that can be turned on your sheet. It's pretty useful. It helps. I yeah. have to use a lot because you know frenzy and all that, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Don. Yes. Would I know anything about anything he mentioned? Hmm. What are you proficient in? In intelligence checks. Intelligence. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Intelligence checks. That would be Arcana. Mm -hmm. History. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. But I have decent, uh, decent stuff in religion. And because you have high intelligence. This is specifically nature. if you're proficient. Yeah, so strictly arcana and history. Pick one of them and roll a check. History check. Interesting. All right. Twenty-four as well. It's not bad at all. Mm. I went with my gut. You like stories and mm. books, especially like books. So you've put your nose through a few, looked at various things. A lot of it isn't something that like, pops up as a major event hmm. sort of thing but there have been a few that have popped up uh, in particular books uh, where it'll mention it kind of in passing as uh, a surge of energy a 
sudden flourishing of creatures, especially creatures uh, that can be more dangerous, or even creatures that are just not dangerous suddenly becoming dangerous. Uh, storms, things of that nature. At first you had thought it was something else, but the descriptions don't match it. This seems more like something or someone would have to intentionally be doing this because of the way it was described. This isn't something that happened as fast as what you would, had initially thought. This is something that took time, which means that it is not natural. Mm. What was it that I heard or read about the last time that I suspect it might be? I'm trying to remember my exact phrasing here because I don't have it written down mm. right next to me. Rip. Uh, essentially, it would have been a nature's upsurge, was what you would have thought it was last time, uh, where that's a group, or group of co or collection of natural energy just began to wildly explode outwards and could cause things such as random violent thunderstorms or things that can cause danger or disaster in an area. But this is not an explosion of, this is a localized consistent. Almost like someone's harnessed the energy of the land to do this. Or is attempting to tweak it. Hmm. I turn to Karg. Mm -hmm. Hearing all of this, what do you make of it? Oh boy, plus zero. Did you just say oh boy, plus zero? Yep. Oh my god, why? why guru. Yes. He's a nature cleric. Yes. What the heck? He's not proficient in nature. Why? What? <laughs> I wasn't looking at the screen because I couldn't until that exact. It hurts. I mean, Come technically, on. he can love nature, but not know that much about it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! That that is correct. Oh my god! <laughs> that that is Karg's mindset on nature. <sighs> Guru, I gotta go send you something real quick. Go ahead. Go put it in that in that brand new channel you just made. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it sounds. Sounds dangerous. <sighs> no! And, and it sounds weird. What? What? Really ripped off one of my nails. Ow! Ow! It's the one that I've been taking care of. Oh no. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Sorry. You're fine. Well, just... well, now it's put on sunglasses, taken care of. God damn it! God damn it! God. Damn it. <laughs> Bad. I don't know who to stab first. <laughs> <laughs> Karg just is shaking his head, just like I'm just not certain. That's. It's just. I almost want to roll just for funsies, but I don't think Dom would let me. Do you roll for funsies? You've been part of I'm a not... tribe that has seen various things. At disadvantage. Alright. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Check You're fine. Guru, I'm not rolling. Dude. You're no fine. Way he would... 
Yeah, not about something like this. Well, hmm. You know less than Carl. <laughs> you're, fo- you're, you're too busy daydreaming about wrestling that alligator. <laughs> <sighs> That's not a nat one. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's real close. <laughs> it's real close. Oh, and that's not a nat one level thing. That is something she would do. Yes. Mm. <laughs> that is something she would do. <laughs> Her half listening to everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what do I fight the alligator? <laughs> if it was a nat one, she'd be salivating. Yes. <laughs> she'd be salivating and trying to get out of the thing. Be like, hold on, I gotta go fight the gator now. Hang on, guys. BRV, gotta fight a gator. <laughs> Uh, I think that would be more of a wisdom save for her. No, Don, no! <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> Butchering town. Um, yeah, there, there is a butcher. Uh, so, ideas, if we really want to do something with this alligator. You're going to focus on the gator? If that's what she wants to do, I just follow, basically. Wait, what? I didn't say nothing about the gator. If we want to, you look fucking starstruck every time the bait gator is brought up. I, what I'm saying is stay. So he goes. I mean, if we need to go after the gator, if it truly is that big, we can just get a big piece of meat and kill it. You're... Well, I mean, there's also the fact that the little girl is. That is something we're working on. Uh, how how is she? Uh, the woman just kind of like shifts. I'll, I, I can go check on her. Uh, give me if just possible. Just a I mean, no offense. I would like to speak to her. All right. I've, I've been the rebellious kid working on that. She's still going to get out. She's probably going to get out more the more you say she. I'm aware. I have had rebellious streak to probably make her at the gate of. I, I'm aware. I. She turns and walks away. And he just kind of, the man just kind of like, as she, he, he waits for like a minute after she's gone. Wait, was that the woman that I was told was not a trainer mm-hmm. or is that someone else? That's no. the woman, yes. Okay. You've only seen those two people in this place. Okay. Well, that and the old lady, but. The old lady who was on the street. She was oh, not she's in, on the yeah. street. Oh! Yeah, on the street, yes. I thought she was, like, in front of no, the... No, 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 she the... was. She was pointing you towards the building. She was oh, not okay. in the building or in front of the building. My bad. You're fine. Uh, the elder just kind of, like, slowly leans back and just kind of, like... She was struck by lightning. Child? No. Her? My daughter, yes. Oh. My my granddaughter had snuck out. I think that's why she goes more before sundown nowadays because she is she seeing her mother to get hurt. Hopefully, <laughs> but she is still a child and still has a rebellious streak to her. A streak two miles wide and six miles deep. If we're lucky, you, so we know where she is. She's going to go get her right now. Uh, the uh, is there any information else that I can assist with? Uh, information perhaps about the lake or yeah, go with me because I'd like to what? talk to the little one in private because I feel like I could actually surprise and have some expertise on a situation like this. Curious, but I mean that's fair. I'll just go with the woman. Uh, so you're gonna leave and go after her? Mm, put some pants on. Please. He's what? He's got pants on. Wearing. Did the, you not? Did you get into the bed. hot spring wearing pants? Or did you oh, not get into the hot spring? In. No, oh, he never okay. fully got in yet. If oh, they're okay. having a conversation, he he does not. He doesn't feel comfortable being naked in front of people. He doesn't. That's fair. I don't want you to stare at my dick while I talk. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sure, that's the part of his body that I want people saying. <laughs> oh, no, I have. No, no, I, I understand. <laughs> he, is, he is not dick shy, but yeah, go on. <laughs> we already know he ain't dick shy. I lost you got full eye. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you're fine. Um, 
so are you so you're going to go and speak with her okay yeah uh, you kind of like hop out and quickly follow after her uh, it takes you a moment because you actually lose sight of her because she did get ahead but eventually you catch up and you see her uh, just like Hey, it's, it's mom. Can, can I come in? She kind of tests the door, it opens up, and she pops her head, and she sees a young girl just laying on her bed, just leaning against the wall, like knees up in her chin as she wraps her arms around him, kind of glances up, and then glances down, just shifting on her bed. This is the little girl that is like. Goes by the ocean, by the lake, water, right? By the water, yes. Yeah. Hey, we'll just be watching for now. Hey, sweetie, uh, there, there are some people who, they're, they're, they're wanting to speak with you. They just, they just want to ask some questions to try and help, help take care of the storm. You can't take care of a storm. It's nature. Nature will do what it wants. I know, but these these people they want to at least you know, try to help us out, try and give us something we can do, something we can work with. Can you, can you come out? Mm. She try to pipe up and go. Can I come in? Oh, oh, oh! You you startled me. And the little girl kind of just she just she's not jumpy. She kind of just peeks up, looks back down. He's. Yes. Is, he's not holding on to his mask. Mm. And he'll I, walk in. And he'll look to it's. The, he'll look to the older woman and go, "If you don't mind, if this is okay, can I have some privacy?" I. Uh, Promise won't do anything. I hand her my weapons. Two machetes are in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> She's like staring at the machetes, just like. The best part is, is as a parent, it's probably not even her fear. I Although you've you... now armed her. You hear the slightest yelp, please come and kill me. Please come and kill me. Tess, you would rather I'll, die I'll, before you hurt the child. Alright. Respectable. She, she takes like a half step, like looks at the little girl like, I'll be, I'll be right outside, okay? And the little girl's like, okay? <laughs> like very confused, just... <laughs> right, and little kid's like, what? What the fuck? Mom, what Mom. <laughs> And I mean, fair reaction. Mm -hmm. I. You. She closes the door, and you can like you don't hear her step away. By the way. Yeah, he'll just come and sit down on the floor. Hi, I'm Cheshire. I'm I'm Pine. Nice to meet you. Technically, I don't go by. Uh, I was called a different name at one point. But I don't go by that anymore. But if it makes you feel like you're calling me something actually uh, closer to who I am, you can call me Jay. It's not my full name, but it starts with it. Like a nickname? Uh, sure. Let's go with that. That works. Yeah. Okay. Um. I surprisingly know how you feel. Mm. You feel scared because all of a sudden something you love which I'm guessing is you enjoyed going out and being able to feel free and now one of your family members was hurt by it correct she kind of looks up slowly towards the door well when I was younger how old are you I'm gonna be Six. I was a little bit. I was a bit older than you. Oh, were. she's a wee bird. Where I was barely double your age. I think a little bit more. My father was hurt badly. More sadly, or thankfully for you. Sorry, worse than your mother. He died, and I did some made some bad decisions because of it, and. That's never stopped following because of it. But 
I understand how you feel when a family member gets hurt. Your brain does not act right now, does it? So when someone you love gets hurt, you, some things just fly right out that window. I guess. But that's perfectly normal, because it's a, if anything happens like that to anyone, it's, it's a rare, fair reaction. What I'm trying to say is, Ch Chance and Nick going by that lake, is there a reason you do it? Going by that lake, especially right before dark. Well, the persuasion check. Alright. Fair enough. kind of just keeps kind of she seems to be like pulling herself in a lot more uh, make an insight check as well yeah. oh this is going God. perfectly <laughs> uh, she like puts her hands behind her head just like Uh, walks from side to side slightly, just seeming to like almost space out for a little bit. I, if, if it's something to do with scared, I'm scared most of the time. I'm scared quite often, actually. But what I do is I hide behind a mask that makes me forget and not feel for a bit. And that's an awful thing to do. But I do it, and he takes out Cheshire's his mask. It makes me feel like I'm somebody else for a little bit. That I'm not in my own shoes currently. And I'll actually go into his pouch and go, it's just a way of escaping from time to time. And he'll pull out a uncreated mask. Now, this is a canopy of sorts. If you're ever scared again, you can always put this on and make the pain go away of sorts. I dolled mine up to fit my personality, of course, and he points at the smile. Feel free to do whatever you want to this one. You know, hand offer her the blank canvas of an extra mask he's he made with Kaleido. Okay. He she kind of like scoots forward very slightly. Roll another persuasion check. Dude, my rolls are high. I, and I'm, I'm seeing them. Oh, I'm telling you. My lord. Two, one, two. <laughs> she rolled lower. Hey. She slides forward slightly. Reaches out very hesitantly. Like, she's afraid like she's like you're going to grab her. Or something. She very gently grabs the mask and she pulls slightly. Like she's like, mm. and she Then she pulls it into her hand and she kind of takes it. Turns it over in her hands. Now, if you want, he'll pull out his entire painter supplies he has. You want to make yours look pretty? Yeah. This is so fucking precious, what the fuck? And I'll <laughs> just give her the painter supplies and let her do it. She takes it. She she stares at it, and she, again, she actually, she's going to roll to see how well she does. Nat 20, nat 20. She's a kid, so it, it's it's not the best, but uh, she takes some of the. Well, she she has the you know common thing of like trying to draw bright and then drawing dark over it, which muddies up the colors. Uh, but she tries to draw like a sun, like on a cheek. And then a moon on the other cheek, and then she just like paints. She's she's like painting a cat. Actually, she, would she really roll this advantage? I'm gonna roll it with advantage. The nine was better. The second one was no! two. <laughs> yeah, um, you can tell she's like drawing it. 
it's like part of it like where the chin would be is a brown almost like a bank there's more blues between the chin and where the nose would be which at that point uh, there's uh, just kind of a black spot that she just puts like right where the nose would be and there's like lines of brown that go up like trees it almost looks like a, a view from standing on a bank out onto the water and she just stares at it for a little bit and obviously you're supposed to let the paint dry but she just kind of stares at it for a second she's like be another person for a second. I'm sure. She takes it and she her hands are, you know, it's covered in paint, it's gonna smear just a little bit, but she just kinda puts it on. It's entirely too big for her. It's, face it's entirely so she has to hold it up. So it's like on her face just she's just kinda like staring down and looks around side to side. And it's it's way too big, but she she's still holding on to it for a second. Just kind of breathing slowly, just trying to get in the mindset, basically. And I need to roll her something else real quick. I like the idea of, like, let's see if she takes one level in Barbarian. Roll! <laughs> <laughs> no! Too soon. Let's look here. Give the voice from the mask. Spring Rock. What's the Whispering Rock? It's a rock. It always comes back. I have to give it back. It always comes back, but I have to give it back. What do you need to give it back to exactly? Mm -hmm. Where'd you get it from? It was in my room. Kind of puts down the mask very slightly. Didn't come back a little bit ago, but I, I take other rocks just in case. I don't want her to be mad. You don't want who to be mad? The rock. She speaks to you? Yeah. She says weird things. Like what? says that the storms aren't supposed to be scary and that, and that I should tell the other kids that so that they will they won't be afraid of them some, some of the kids like 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 Havav he's, he's afraid of them he's afraid of thunder he doesn't like it I tried to tell him that that, that it's not supposed to be scary and he he, he said it was weird. He said that I like thunder. Thunder's, thunder's just loud. I find... Actually, I'm not even joking. I actually find thunder quite calming as well. Break of, breaking the silence is always necessary sometimes. Mm -hmm. I like rain. It, Me too. It's really soothing just to just to hear it on on the roof, and then the thunder means that it's it's gonna rain or it's still raining. It's nice, but 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 it told me that it, it's it's supposed to it's not supposed to be scary, and then I try to tell people that. Do you have the Whisperer Rock on you? Mm-mm. I'm trying Where to find it? it. I threw it in the lake, like I was told to do. It told you to do that? Mm-hmm. And then I came back. It was on my dresser. Points over to her dresser. Is, is there a rock on her dresser? No rock. I got a rock. I'm sorry. And he goes, well, all right. Make a reception check. 
dude, I'm rolling hot tonight. You don't understand. I know. He aware. really is. It's terrifying. Okay. An 18, though, says mm. otherwise. Holy shit. I have, prof I have uh, uh, what, proficiency. What is it called? Proficiency, yeah. <laughs> you forgot that word, didn't you? <laughs> Just for a hot second. Um, yeah, no, she missed it. There's a few rocks under her bed. What's that under your bed? Mm -hmm. She sets the mask down. Her hands are covered in paint. She's like, uh, uh oh, mom's gonna. Uh, 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 I walk up to her and I take uh, like the bottom of my shirt and I just wipe her hands off with it. Mm -hmm. She like she starts like wiping them off on your shirt. She, like smears them down the side. She's like, sorry, sorry. Here we don't have the shirt. It's okay. Your mom's gonna be so mad at me. Uh. No, she won't. You sure? I haven't seen her in a while, but from how I remember her, she wouldn't. Okay. I am she, crying. This is so cute. She gets on her knees and looks underneath the bed, and she's like, oh. Uh, she reaches in, and she pulls out a couple of rocks, and she looks at them like, uh, this one, this is a rock that I found with with Susanna. Uh, it's It's this, like, kind of this sparkly, almost rainbow-colored rock. She's like, eh, sets it on the dresser. Uh, this one, uh, this, uh, the, 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 the smith, he, ca he called it a, a, a guild. A god. Uh, it's Geode. a rock. Uh, th that thing, yeah. And she holds yeah. it up, and it's split in half, and you can see that the inside of it's got, like, little crystals and such, and she's like, it's, like, this, uh, kind of this orange-amber color. And she's like, he, he broke Stardew Valley in the distance. He he broke did it open. Stardew Valley? Yes, yes, he did. He he uh, had to break it open. But when I first found it, I thought it was just a nice rock, and then it had all this inside it. It was so cool. So I gave it I gave it to my best friend. Oh, we haven't talked in a while, but I mean, uh, yeah. She sets it on the dresser, and and this one, uh, this one is it's supposed to be a uh, supposed to be a good rock. I, I found it, and when I skipped it, it went right, right over, right over the uh, the little. Well, there's a little pond area, like the, it's a little place where the the lake f comes in. But I can skip the I can skip the rocks into, it, and then if I need to, I can go across it. But I skipped this one, and it went over. It went over the pond. It's it's only a couple feet, but that's that's. I I hadn't I didn't do that with any other rock, so I I, I figured it was a good luck rock probably is uh, she like sets that one down as well uh, that's my rocks uh, which in your passive perception is a 13 right yeah uh, as she as she looks down and as you like you I imagine you're like leaning back after you're helping her look uh, there's a fourth rock on the dresser what? there's a rock on the dresser now reaches up slowly and picks it up. It's a rock that's like a black onyx color with a hole in the center. <gasps> Is it like the rock from the Goonies? That kind of looks rock like that. Oh, I'm such a I've never seen the Goonies. Oh no, bears, never tell me that again. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded so hurt. <laughs> uh, she picks it up, turns it over, and she's like, It looks like my whispering rock. Hold on. She puts it up to her ear. Hmm. It's not talking yet. I if it, if it, if it talks, I can I can let you know. Do you want me to try to talk to it? She holds it out to you. Hello. And he'll put his ear up against it. You don't hear anything. Not hearing anything. Maybe it's shy. Uh, I I mean I I've talked to him in front of other people, but they all they all thought it was weird. She kind of like shuffles back and forth, just like I, I collect rocks. I'm I am kind of weird. Not nah. be honest, I was that child. Uh, I uh, <laughs> when I was younger, I collected fish. My parents got real upset at me about it. 
You collected Jasmine. fish? Yeah. Well, it was. I had to work when I was very young. I was uh, helping my docks, and every once in a while, I would just stick my hand in the water, and I was quick enough if a fish ran by, I'd be able to grab one. My parents got a little upset, though. I uh, one one of the older boys, he he can do something similar, but he's got to have both his hands in the water, and he's got to stand really still. And it, I think his back hurts because he'll just hunch over, and if the fish comes between it, he just tries to grab it. He's, yeah. he's he's good. He's he's kind of good at it, but I bet you're really good at it. Yeah. She holds her hand oh. over the rock. If it says oh, yeah, anything, I, I can uh, I can. I I, I mean. I, I can let me know she kind of shrugs just like sure I, I if I if I if I see you again I'll let you know what it says all right thank, now thank look you. at hmm? now look at me mr. rock or Miss rock you be kind to of this little girl all right how you spell her name guru I want to make sure she's in my notes uh, <laughs> I, I, did, I did not actually tell you her name, but she will introduce herself. Mm, yeah, you did. I did? Pine. Pine. Oh, hi, Pine, right. It's P-Y-N. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I was thinking I of was... her friend's name, my Pine. I want to know if it was P-Y-N-E or it is P I N E. It is P-Y-N-E. Yes. Yes, Pine. I, I was thinking of her best friend's name. My apologies. Hmm. Well, I didn't tell you her best friend's name. I told you her mm, name, Pine. I don't think so. No, I did not, which she didn't either. All is well. I just mixed up names for a second there. My bad. <laughs> but yes, Pine. Well, thank you for telling me about this. Mm -hmm. Anything else you happen to know? There's a monster in the lake. The fisherman said it broke a boat. Have you seen it? I thought I did once. I... It just looked like a gator, but it it looked so big. They're not supposed to get that big. No. If you ever feel sad, angry, don't feel like you have to, but if it helps, just put on the mask. Just okay. help relieve yourself, you know? Okay. Have a good one, little miss. And I'll stand up. He just like, he, like stretches his back, and he'll walk out the room. Bye, Mr. J. Bye. I'm crying. And he'll butters. How could you rob my emotions like this? As he walks out, he puts his left hand back in his pocket. I don't uh, say. I think that's all. Uh, need thank you to the. An older woman who I'm sure is standing right next to the door. Yeah, right next to the door. Yeah. And she, like, stares at you like, I have no idea what you did, but slowly hands you your machetes back, just like, I don't know if I should trust this, but I'm doing it anyway. What's wrong with that? <laughs> He's a very charming tiefling. He really is! Mm -hmm. And it's slightly scary! <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, I'm telling you, man, strong silent type. I'm telling yeah. you, man. Meanwhile, back with the rest of the group after he went to go talk to the little girl. <sighs> what else can I do to be of assistance? I okay. So in case I miss this, Don, I have to ask. Hmm? Uh, you know when the storm started, per chance? A few or rather, when they turned hostile. A few months ago, they didn't seem hostile at first, but it, well, no, naturally, it grew progressively worse. Do you think there's anything that might have triggered it? Anything that anyone might have done? Not that I'm. Do you aware have of maybe a, this is going to sound odd, but do you think that you have a god that you worship or something akin to a deity that? No deities that I can think of. The, the, where we we've worshipped as we always have, we haven't put one foot more above another. We've only had maybe one or two gods that we've really had to bring up. Any chance that someone might have angered some sort of mage? 
a mage, one willing to dedicate this much time to causing us havoc? You would be really surprised what some vindictive mages can do. For this long? I should hope not. If we have, I've not heard them say anything. I Forgive me for saying so, but mages I've come into contact with and spoken with are perhaps a bit haughtier and higher in their thoughts where they believe themselves to be too much more than the rest of us, that if it were someone like that, I would at the very least believe that they should try and barter with us to say that they can fix the problem they caused. At least that's I just have I to ask. That. I know some people go to great lengths to get back at other people, and magic added into the equation is just... I should hope that he would have had his vengeance after he killed someone. Mm. Hope, obviously. Elisha. But, hmm? Yes. Is okay. So since you're the magic user, I have to ask. Oh. It. You see his face, just like, oh no. <laughs> oh no! Don't worry. I accidentally insulted her a multitude of times. She's fine. Um. I'm used to it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um. Would it be out of the question for if a mage was feeling truly vengeful to fuck with a village for a while? Guru? It's not impossible. This kind of length of time? It's a little strange, but it's not impossible. Spellcasters have done weirder things. Depending on how vindictive the person in question was, potentially, I would ask, what two deities did you mean to mention before? Let me pull that out. God, my... I... Mom might have been right. I think I might have fought something in my sleep and pulled my shoulder, because... God, it feels like I tried to punch something and fucked my shoulder up. Oh no. Mm -mm. Someone massage me. Don, please. I send my massage and feelings. <laughs> Go and try and Thank pop you. your shoulder back into place. I've tried! Against the door. <laughs> well, I haven't tried to pop it back into place, but I've been trying to pop it and do like that. You know, you're supposed to rotate it slowly. Mm -hmm. I've done that and it pops it slightly, but it doesn't help. Hmm. Oop. That's why I said I think I might have pulled it or strained a muscle nearby. Because it's not exactly my shoulder blade, it's it's between my shoulder blade and the actual shoulder. Does that make sense? Mm hmm. That little meaty area. Mm. I think I might have pulled something. Wonderful! Oh. I kick things ass in my sleep and I don't even get a reward for it. -na -na -na. <laughs> it's the same as anyone else would. Worship in these parts. Ungla and. Ungla. I'm sorry, I like that there. <laughs> would I know either of these? Yeah, oh, would you, I? You would. Actually, one second, let me just double check something here. Uh, mm -hmm. Don, be yes. a little bit proud of me. Mm -hmm. I'm being a good jungler without having smite on. <laughs> I am proud of you. <laughs> I forgot it. Um, Paris, you actually don't need to roll anything, but if you'd like to what? roll a religion check, uh, you may. Didn't get more information, or? Well, hold on. You'll understand in a second. Keep in mind, I can't see the roll 20. I want you I'm to keep aware, this in I'm mind. I'm aware. I'm aware. Okay. I'm just, I'm waiting on Madrino's roll for religion. What? Okay, I don't know why, but that freaked oh. me out when you said Madrino. <laughs> Madrino. <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll for each of them? Sure. <laughs> what did you get? An 8. And an uh, after he got an 11. So he knows a little more about Angla than Rutan. Um, oh, fair enough. Which, ironically, that's the one you know more as well, Paris. <laughs> Angla... So should I roll for the other one, or...? You can roll for the other one if you want. Um, okay. The reason why you know it is because it's Karg's Karg's God. Ah! 
Oh, that's right. <laughs> Shut up. I was the, re name was familiar. the realization striking like a thunderbolt. Don't say strike. That's a no, wait. I have disadvantage. Hang on. That's a four, my friend. <laughs> Rutan's new. <laughs> Angla is a god of both change the seasons, essentially the harvest as he is also known as the Harvester. The end of things as well as the journey of nature. Ooh. Okay. Uh, with an eight, Rutan's a nature god. Is it who Korg follows? Uh, that's Angla. Angla he's mentioned is... Rutan before, but I know he's mentioned Rutan in my presence. Be right back. That much I do now. No worries. Oh no, my internet. Internet, no. Oh. Internet, stop. Oh, I can hear how bad it is, too. Yeah. Oh, no, my internet. There we go. Thank you. I think. Am I okay? Am I better? You're better, yes. Okay. Just waiting on Madrino to get back so I can have the elder explain a little more. I love that this is all occurring while we're just stark ass naked, by the way. It gives a very different uh, sense to things, don't it? I mean, I think the only reason why Ellie is bothered is because she's met perverted old men. <laughs> so she's not quite sure if he's one of them since there are two naked women right in front of him. Squinting hard at him. She's like, I'm intimidating. Elisha, however, is skinny and pretty. So what the fuck? <laughs> Do I have to protect my friend? Do I have to go Wu Tang Clan on you? Do I have to throw hands? I have hands with which to throw. She won't throw her axe if she has to. You don't have your axe on you. She will go back and get it. <laughs> <laughs> you think this is the first fought naked bold of you to assume? Uh, comedy. <laughs> Fucking ASTF world. Yeah, just, uh, I'm, just giving I'm a still very there. sad about my fingernail. I never mean to tear it. Don't hold me. I'm very sad right now. I send you hugs. <laughs> it went from being so pretty and filed to this little... Scratchy nub. I worked so hard on that. I'm sorry. Eh, eh, eh. File it down. File it down. File down the betrayer. I genuinely cannot file the fucking bad edge to this. Uh, if you want, I can go over and you can explain it to Madrina when it gets back. Sure. Okay. Ow! Uh, Rutan is more Hang on, hang on, let me let me open my notes so that I can do this back. more properly. Or that'll work. That'll work. <laughs> that'll work. Perfect timing. I'll let you take the notes okay. so that you can give it back to Paris. Please Uh Angla is as I said, he is referred to as the harvester. Mm -hmm. Uh essentially going from planting season to harvest for nature. Mm -hmm. uh, which makes sense for a small village to worship as they want their crops to grow well, and they want mm. to worship a god who will help that. Uh, Rutan is more the wild god. Tang uh, Kling. I'm sorry! That god ain't nothing to fuck with, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, as all nature is a form of conflict, he is sometimes referred to as a war god. Hmm. I'm surprised you guys got that so fast. I shouldn't have, but... Woo! Dang! Kicks open door. But yes, um... Nature's a battle for survival and... You know, worshipping Rutan. Rutan is supposed to help watch over and... Assist those with their fight against nature itself to survive. Quick, Guru, question. Mm. 
Is there is there a cult called the Wu Tang Clan? You don't know. That'd be the best cult name ever. <laughs> Wait, know. would I know? You would not either. Damn it! That's it's a cult. You have to go find that. Go I out there know. and find it. Well, find the Wu Tang Clan. You gotta understand, Guru. Now one of my characters in the future in this world is gonna be the the ruler of the Wu Tang Clan. They no, they're not. To fuck with, Guru. They no, can be part not. of it, at no. least. I'm, I'm I'm going to have to suplex you all. But moving Super forward, <laughs> moving forward. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, with his help, we've overcome many things. Wait, is this the elder Karg speaking? The Karg. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've seen many things taken care of. That being said, I feel both gods are unable to assist us or are ignoring us. Especially in regards to this matter. I don't know if we're just not doing enough, if it is them, or if they are expecting us to show our worthiness by hiding back. And if it is so, this form of fighting nature, we have we've done what we can. We've put up things with which to protect ourselves shields, spears we cannot simply go out into boats and try and hunt something in its own element, we have to wait for that creature to come out to us and if so we can try and move it to where we can easily pin it down and take care of it But I have a question hmm I'm surrounded by people who know magic of some sort. Even Cheshire knows magic of some sort. Between the three of you, do any of you know an electricity spell? Technically, yes. Would we get everyone out the lake and perhaps electrocute the lake? That would kill all of the fish as well. Oh, all right. Us without livelihood, which is oh, why I forgot about the fish. And the lightning doesn't seem to strike the lake. What? It struck the houses and some trees and people, obviously, but it's not struck the lake. Not the water my dog itself. Was, my dog started barking because mom came out the room and y'all was legit about to hear me freak out, get off the headset, and get ready to take some, a motherfucker out. <laughs> Because <laughs> I thought someone was out there, and I heard mom's door close. It's like, oh mm. fuck's sake! <laughs> Here's my time to cut a bitch. I got a dagger right outside my room. I ain't scared to fucking cut a bitch. Oh, fucking... Get the fuck oh, out my house. No. <laughs> I would like to see this lake. <laughs> That's probably not a good idea. It's right open to you to see. Ellie stands up. Come on, Kirk, after, we're going hunting! After you get dressed, please. Oh man! Why? The clothes are just gonna get wet anyway! There's why they we brought out the towel. Karg's just like, you heard the man. Oh, that's the elder. I thought Karg was telling me. Oh, okay. No, the elder was. Karg's like, you heard the man. I was gonna say it if he didn't. Fine. Help me dry my hair then. Uh, you would dunk your. He gets out and he starts drying your hair. Are you really you. complaining? Yes. Why? Because. Uh, he helps. Dry you used to say that you liked it because it was soft. I do like it because it's soft. I'm also trying to help figure out what's going on with the place that had lightning strike me twice. You can figure it out while drying. I'm standing on the side of the pool. He, he's drying yeah. your hair while this is going on. By the time they finish drying your hair and helping you dry off completely, Cheshire has finished his stuff and you guys are walking out with each other. <laughs> it took more than one person? Yes, her and him. She just had Cargill. Yes, they, they. Two people. You said by the time they finished drying your hair, so that was worded very weird. Yeah, you and him. Your hair, though. I, I, I'm aware that it yeah, implies a third <laughs> person. Fair enough. That's why I'm sitting here like, wait, wait, hang on. <laughs> yes, I, I was referring to you and Karg, unless Alasha wants to help. <laughs> I mean, Alasha, do you want to touch thine hair? She has her own hair to take care of. Take care of. 
<laughs> Ellie probably starts drying a lot of hair, I'm just saying. <laughs> she has no see. limits on touch, I'm just saying. So you guys walk out and you, uh, you see Cheshire about to walk over to you guys, you know, How machetes and hands. Uh, well, one machete is back in his bag, the other one is on his side now. Mm -hmm. So he goes, uh, I spoke to her, she said that, uh, uh, she was, she had a whispering rock that was telling her that the storms are okay, uh, and that she shouldn't be afraid of them, and that she should tell the rest of the kids that. But the storms are striking people. Well, that storms in general are okay, not just this. Oh, storm. okay. I thought I, that was concerning. Yeah. Still, maybe keep them inside. Still, up until you know, we figure out what's making the lightning bolt strike people. Oh yeah, of course. Okay. I wouldn't suggest letting her out. She's a very nice kid. Uh... Did you enjoy your time? Yeah, sure. I'm glad. You need a little joy. I'm gonna go check out the lake. <laughs> See what we Alligator can time! Alright. I'd say don't, uh... Is the leader of the tribe there? Yeah, he's walking out with them. He's don't just wrapped up in Don't try to convince her otherwise. I'm that... not... I don't think I could hold her back. She is very strong. Oh, yeah, thank you! Is. Was, was he talking to you? Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to you, actually, but she apparently heard me and decided to thank me. She didn't and walk off when she said alligators, huh? <laughs> you're welcome. He gives you like a, um, like a, ah, you're still here. <laughs> oh, my she, bad. She said that the rock was talking to her, that she said, kept repeating that she needed to return the rock. What? Which rock? A whispering rock. It was this this black rock with a onyx, oh, uh, with a, this onyx rock, onyx rock with a black hole in it. Hmm. She said That's it spoke some... to her, but since I, but uh, it wasn't speaking when I was in the room. Sounds unusual. Guru, would I know I... anything about a rock like that? Yeah. Rule an arcana check, only because you're only proficient. Him? Okay. Really good! Really good! There's... various tales about magical mediums. Rocks can be used to hold it. Generally it has to be shaped. It has to be an intentional shaping of it. Hmm. If you say that, that I was right on the money when I said an angry mage, I'm gonna start. <laughs> the idea of a of a girl having something like a sending stone or something like that—it's weird. It's not the weirdest thing you've ever it wasn't heard, but in the shape of a face, if that makes it make any more sense. No, no, you you described it as a a black of a, a, an onyx rock with a hole in it, which yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm. I'm letting her know what her mind process might pull up. There's maybe a few others that it could be. One of which is it's like at the back of your brain, like you've you've read about something similar, but it's old and you can't quite put your finger on it. It's like uh, something from when either you were young or someone young heard it and you'd have to go and try and see if you could find uh, a fairy tale book or something to try and see if you could pull it up because you remember it as something about a, a story told to children and something about a rock like that but you don't remember what it was hmm I turn to the elder and I ask him this is going to be an odd question 
but bear with me. All right. What stories do you typically tell to your children? Mostly stories of water in the forest, mostly ones of people doing good things and being rewarded in turn. Any of them involve rock? It's cocked. Uh, only one I can think of is uh, uh, <laughs> the Lucky Stone. Uh, tale about skipping a rock over a, a pond and finding uh. a good luck stone. Uh, that's the only one I can think of. Uh. What? what does that story entail? Uh, if you skip a rock up across a pond and it should find its way to the other side... You should pick it up, carry it around. It's filled with lots of good luck. That luck can keep you straight, keep you true, keep bad thoughts from entering you, and help help you help others. Um. But you have to do them first. Yes, Paris. No, I she like Ellie is verbally saying. Um, <laughs> as soon as he mentioned the story about skipping the rock, <laughs> just like wait, what? Yeah, exactly. Basically, like is, is no one draw? Are you really not drawing the parallel here? <laughs> no. Should I be? That's the daughter that keeps skipping the rock on the lake, right? Yes. Uh, is that drawing any conclusions from Cheshire? Sorry, what are you saying again? He I'm said that uh, uh, the, my internet's going shit. You're fine. Wow. Uh, he said that uh, the only story he told was about the good luck skipping rock, which if you skip a rock across a pond, it's supposedly good luck, and that it'll help make doing things for other people easier and better, as it will help protect you from harm, keep your mind clear, things of that nature. Well, she says she had a good luck rock that it could skip across or just jump over the pond, kind. Yes, uh, she brought that back all excited when she first did it. I remember doing the same thing with my father. Oh, that was years ago. I'm old. Do you happen to have a library? Uh... <sighs> We have a, a small bookstore. It's it's in the plaza, uh, not too far from here. They will be opening soon. It's actually probably going to be open in just a little bit. Kind of like peeks forward towards the window, like oh yeah, the sun's coming up. Someone needs to stop Ellie because she's probably about to grab this man by his collar. Like, are you stupid? <laughs> yeah. I'd say Car she said she one time did maybe actually see. Uh, something like that. A uh, alligator in the water. She said she thought she did. It's possible, <laughs> especially since there's more of them. After we up. get done in here, we can go and ask her uh, if uh, she the rock has spoken to her, because she said she'd want to tell me if it speaks to her after I leave. Alright. <sighs> I'll. I'll keep my eye on her. I... Cheshire, that's so cute. It sounds like you made a friend. Don't push it. I'm not being smart. I'm saying it sounds like you made a friend. Other than us. She's a cute kid. I'll give her that. And I'm happy smart. for you. You're getting more social. She's genuinely happy for you. <laughs> he just still has a straight face. <laughs> I'm the bookstore real quick. Okay. I'm gonna do the fucking lake. <laughs> okay. So I'm dragging hmm? and dragging them back to the little kids' room to ask if they heard the rock. I said, "You We can see if she heard the rock first. Then we we can go and do your things." Ah, oh, fine. Okay, so you're just quickly knocking on her door. The woman's just like, uh, "Are you in?" We're not going in this time. I just want to ask her one question. See if discuss something we talked about. You you Hello? hear? Uh... 
uh, after you not after you speak, you oh yeah, I guess we're all standing there. After you not speak, you hear a little thump thump thump. Opens the door, Mr. J, Mr. J. Oh, oh. Closes the door. Sounds like Joker. Right, right, right. I wasn't gonna say anything, but fuck. Oh boy. Please don't let this be my heart. Anyway. She 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 closed it like she saw the other people. Her eyes went wide. Like closes the door. Oh. I think she'll only talk to me. Like there's a momentary like. Are they friends? They're my only friends, except you. Am I in trouble? Of course not. Kind of peeks open the door slowly. She I sees her, uh, her so I'm a little less intimidating. And please I hold tell out me my she, hand. Please tell me when she opens the door, she's wearing the mask. Uh. <laughs> she's not currently, but she has it in her hand. Hmm. She like, like she like gripping it to her chest, just like sh- rocking from side. Like, look at that who's kneeling down, just like. Hmm. Hello. I, I just hold out my hand. And say, I'm so sorry. This is Alasha. She slowly holds her. out her hand. Pleased to meet you. Pine. Pull her hand back as soon as you let go. Just like. Mm. That's Ellie. Oh, Hello. She waves, very, like she like waves from like holding the mask and then quickly grips again, make sure she doesn't drop it. Just like, I like your mask. I'm Kark. Thank you, Mr. J. Let I me thought that was like the kid for a second. Hey, no, 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 Kark, Kark. Right, right. No, no, hold on, no, no, Kark. My brain went all kinds of places. <laughs> Calculating me. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What the? Like Kark's like, hello there. I'm I'm Kark. Hi. And she she waves. Hello, Mr. Kark. Uh, Mr. J. He he let me paint it. He he said he made it and then he he let me paint it and I she like holds out her hand and you can see where clearly there's two smudge sections like there's the circle for the cheeks of the like the sun looking part and the moon looking part and then there's just like two handprints and then the rest of the scene. Ellie like, kneels down. I I, it, I didn't let it dry out. The very time. well. I, I I need to practice more. That's fine. Ellie like holds her arm out. I had to practice to do these too. Uh, what are you holding out? Her tattoos. The tattoos on her arms and her legs are self done. <laughs> she does not have a fish seat, but holy uh, shit. What's what's on her arm? It's the the swirling tattoos. The tribal tattoos. Uh, right, right. Just wanna make sure. She like looks like <laughs> like, like <laughs> playful curiosity. How'd you get a mistake? I, like pokes in, like uh, tries to smear it. Like they're called tattoos. It's kind of like consider it a permanent drawing that older people get. That's weird that it can stay on you. Huh. It's part of my culture. Oh, when we get older. In our village, they have the generation or the younger generation tattoo themselves. Huh, that's weird. Kind of cool. Kind of weird. <laughs> she's like, she's like, not sure if I should be concerned or happy. <laughs> I, I am a mix of emotions, and this is kind of cool. But at the same time, I'm weird. in a glass cage of emotion. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> uh, she like shifts back and forth on her heel before she like bounces in place again. She's like. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Mr. J. J. Mr. J. Yeah, he said he said to call like Jay, him. and I, I mean, he's 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 you know he's he's bigger than me, and he's 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 smarter, and he's 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 really he's really nice, and so I call I call him <laughs> Mr. J. I believe he wanted to talk to you about something. Hmm. Did that rock of yours start talking to you again? Not yet. All right. Yeah, well. I rock. Sure. She. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. Puts the mask on uh, a table and pulls out the rock and lets you look at it. And I will pull out my identification pearl and I will show it to her.
This is... A very special rock. <laughs> White. Especially to me. It took me a very long time to find... Would you like to know something? Hmm. This is a very special rock. Not just because it took me so very long to find one, but it allows me to do something very interesting. What does it let you do? This rock helps me to learn more about things. It can tell me things about something you wouldn't know just by looking at it. Okay. Would you like me to see if I can try it on your rock? Sure. Don't worry. It will only tell me things about it. It won't change it. And after that, I will give it right back to you. Okay. I will cast Identify on the rock. Alright. You cast identify on the rock for a moment mm -hmm. you pick something up mm -hmm. there is magic in this mm -hmm. it appears to be actually let me double check what type of magic this is one second <laughs> Dum, 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 I'm sorry. I don't know why that came to my head. problem. <laughs> <laughs> Evocation magic. Mm-hmm. The oh, fuck? I'm so glad that of... you got that one, buddy. Similar to that of one sending and receiving messages. This mm -hmm. token allows for one within a certain radius to be able to speak with another holder of a similar token. And then it cuts out and there's no magical property to this rock. What the fuck? Hmm. This rock was listening, but now it's not. So it's kind of like a sending stone. It's a kind of. Except you sensed that there was not actually any kind of limit, so far as you could tell, but there was a limit to the range. So no limit to the message size, you mean? Amounts of messages to send. Right, right. I mean, and then uh, just disappear. Time. Hmm? Can you only speak... To, have you ever spoken to her when you're not at the lake? Yeah, I've spoken to her in my room before. I spoke to her once at school. That's that's when I told... I, I, I told the rock that... That he was afraid of lightning. And that's when that's when it tried to tell me to tell him. That, that the storms aren't bad. Was I able to ascertain what the limit range wise is uh, before it cut out mm. roll a d100 oh goody because it cut out pretty quick mm -hmm. going Let's cleric see. rules here by the way what's cleric rules low is, low better. is better okay sometimes low well, is better nope you did not get the range of it you only know that as of right now this token was in range. Hmm. Okay. So at the very least, this house is in range to some point that another right. token was picking up and able to communicate or listen through. Cool, cool. I hand back the rock. I bow my head. 
Is Thank it a you core rock? Much. It's a very cool rock. This rock allows you to talk to whoever has the other receiver as much as you want. So it doesn't just talk to me? Isn't that weird? Hmm. Depends on who's on the other end. I guess. She kind of just shrugs, just like, hmm. She takes it, just turns it over in her hand. Maybe they'll tell me why the storms are doing all their, what they're doing. I have to throw it Maybe. in the lake again. Maybe so. It's when you really wants to keep you safe. Maybe. I hope so. It's How long does it usually take to return? To the lake? I mean, I just throw it in the water. I mean, once you throw it in the water, when do you get it back? It just arrives... Like it comes back to you specifically, or back to the lake? It um, usually shows up in my room somewhere. Where did you want to bring it back? Because you, you said you wanted to return it. To the lake. I have to throw it into the lake. She throws it into the lake and it comes back to her room. Mm -hmm. From what I can tell. Yep. The same day? No. Next morning. Sometimes I just mind? find it in my pocket. Would you mind showing us where you usually... She shrugs again. Sometimes it's in my pocket. Sometimes it's on the dresser. Sometimes it's on my bed. Sometimes I wake up with it in my head. No, no, no. When you return it to the lake. I, it, it doesn't say where to. I just throw it into the lake. Ah, I see, I see. Thank you. I'd never thought that where I threw it in was special. I didn't ask. Mm. I've asked. Am I in trouble? You're not oh, in trouble, no. sweetie. Don't worry. I don't want to be in trouble. You're not in trouble, I promise. But... But uh, but if I but if I if I don't know where I don't. Just because you don't know something doesn't mean that you're in trouble. Okay. Even the adults sometimes don't know stuff. I don't but, know a lot but, of things. But Elder knows everything, doesn't he? Elder's behind, just shaking his head. Nope. <laughs> Even Elder says no. He doesn't know everything. I'm sure he's really smart, but no one knows everything. Okay. Okay. For the moment, keep the pretty rock, if you would, for us, please. Okay. Make sure you keep it safe, okay? Okay. I'll, I'll keep it very safe. Good. Uh, Ellie will stand up and look back at the group. Ah. Uh, the moment it would probably be in our best interest to make sure that lake is at least safe. Agreed. Or do we want to try to get in contact with some other side of that rock? Mm -hmm. I feel like I, that might be one and the same. I feel like the lake is at the moment the more immediate threat just because of what's in it. Be honest. At least be a little bit honest with yourself. You really just want to kill that alligator. A part of me wants to kill the alligator. A part of me wants to kill the alligator, but the other part of me knows exactly how dangerous an alligator can be to children who happen to be on the edge. You see, like, Pine just, like, shrinking back. She's like, I know when to be careful. I know how to spot him. I'm really good at seeing him. Well, I believe you're really good at it, but at the same time, you're still a little bit in danger, sweetheart. But I only see the small ones near the, near the lake's edge. I've, I've always, and I've always made sure that if I see him, I don't go near him. That's what Elder said. If you see him, don't go near him. And if you don't see him, then, then, then wait for an adult. Well, at the moment, where are the adults on this one? Would you be okay with us going to the lake? It's just to make sure everyone in the village is safe, because there's apparently a really big one. She like looks like she's like like looking back and forth. They're like, wait, hold on, I get to make a choice in this. <laughs> like, <laughs> huh, uh, giving kids agency, just one of the few services we provide. She like looks. She like looks between you all, and then she like locks eyes with, uh, with Cheshire. Like stares in for for a moment. Slowly starts nodding. 
I know you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you said your name was Pine, right? Mm -hmm, mm hmm Thank you for giving us your permission, Pine. You're welcome. Do you mind if we head to the lake, Jessar? Because I am kind of worried about having a giant alligator in a fishing town. Butters. Huh, Butters. Talk about again? Uh, she said, do you mind if we head to the lake because she is genuinely worried about having an alligator in a fishing town? Yeah, you can head out. Alright. And as you all are preparing yourselves and heading on out to look at the lake, I think that's a good I, place to end the episode. I cast oh, Mage yeah. Hand as we leave Fire's hair, wave at please. Pine. Sure, her <laughs> eyes widen just like... <gasps> What? Cast what? Mage, mage hand. hand. Cast mage hand. <laughs> yeah, oh you, like you're, she's just like bouncing, just like, oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what the heck? What is that thing? Like she's, she's like, leaves. She yeah. like scruffles her hair a little bit. She like, she like sticks her tongue at you and then grins and exists like this soft little. <laughs> kind of pats her head, just like, no, I just did it. I brushed it. <laughs> oh. She reminds me of my little sister, Hill. Bye, Mr. J. Bye. We can talk about that later. <laughs> Just whispers to the group. Wait, what? <laughs> talk about yeah, Mr. J later. <laughs> I think uh, it's a nice nickname. Oh, yeah. God, he smiles, too. God. <laughs> Is he trying to come in the Joker? <laughs> <laughs> very dark turd. Confusing? No! More at 11. <laughs> but in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you want to follow us on Twitch, we do stream at twitch.tv slash whatteamcomp, where you can hit that follow button so we can get affiliated, so you can subscribe, so we can fill you with more content, as well as hopefully in the future more other things we can do for you all. Uh, we give back to you with our content, and we want to give back more. Uh, also if you're, so Guru can survive. Also so I can survive. That is also very helpful. Uh, if you like our content on YouTube, subscribing there is free, and the thumbs up is just another way to say, hey, thank you for the content. Also leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought of this and what you thought of our other episodes. And, yeah, thank you all so much. You're awesome people, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.